Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Nightwing's Nerd Sh**. This is probably my favorite segment because I get to talk about all my toys. So we're not gonna waste any more time, we're just gonna jump right into it. While I was in Atlanta, I finally found him. Yes sir! I got Miles Morales from the Marvel Legends series. The reason why he's open right now is one, I actually open up every of the Spider-Man series because they're in at my other place. It's in the back. You see him on the shelf back there. All of the costumes and everything. I absolutely love the Spider-Man costumes as you guys already know. And since I don't have a Miles yet, he got opened. And the second reason is because the, the box didn't fit in my luggage. And so I needed to open them in order to keep my non-check carry-on item. But yeah, I absolutely love this guy. I think he looks awesome. I love the freaking costume, dude. Like, this costume is so badass. And you really just can't go wrong. So I'm excited to add him to my collection. Keep him with the Marvel Legends theme. I ran into these two guys at Toys R Us and I was ecstatic. Not only to find Cable, but to find my bae, Rogue. When Rogue, when Rogue was first introduced to me, it was in the um, animated series back in the 90s. I had the biggest crush on a cartoon character of all time. I mean, the only other cartoon character that I had a crush on was probably the chick from Gummy Bears. <laughs> that's, that's a long ass time ago, by the way. So if you guys know what that cartoon show is, then kudos to you. But she looks awesome. I love the sculpt. I love the costume. I love the jacket, the belt, everything. I think it's great. I love that her accessory is just a hand with no glove on it since that's her powers and everything. And I just, it's just super cool, man. I just love this figure. I was super stoked to run into her. And then you got Cable here. You really can't go wrong with Cable. This guy reminds me a hell of a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator. And, um, you know, it's just, it's dope, man. It's just too dope. There's two figures that I need in this set. The one is Kitty Pride, and I, I see her everywhere, so I'm not picking her up right now. But the last one is Wolverine, and I can't find him ever anywhere. I think there's like one per case or something like that. Either that or by the time I get to the store, they're just all taken. And I appreciate everybody that sends me links and everything to grab these kind of things online. However, I really enjoy hunting for toys. I actually... I'm thinking about doing a, a nerd hunt, like a nerd hunt vlog. So let me know if you're interested in that. Just I'll show you kind of like what I do when I go out and, and nerd hunt for toys. And hopefully I actually find something that I want. But uh, stay tuned for that. Now this guy I actually found today. This was a surprise. I I think this is an older figure. It's not super old, but I don't I don't think it came out recently. I actually can't tell because there's no date on the box or anything like that. But the original Batman movie with Michael Keaton is one of my favorite, both Batman and Batman Returns. I just think it's so cool and. And when I saw this figure, I just was like compelled to buy him, especially since it actually looks like Michael Keaton under there. And he's actually wearing the um, the Bo Jackson trainers in these guys. It was in Batman Returns that he wore a pair of Air Jordan 6 Batman custom boots, which is also sick. But yeah, love that movie. Like, absolutely love it. You guys already know, man, once you pop, you can't stop. And <laughs> well, <laughs> we're keeping it moving. I found this guy right here, Surf's Up Joker. This is the first, technically the first movie of Batman. And it was from the Batman classic TV series from the like the 60s or the 70s and this is Cesar Romero as the Joker I love this figure just because that the, the show is so corny but it's also nostalgic I remember watching it on Nick at Night all the time and just absolutely loving it I used to watch a whole bunch of shows on Nick at Night Get Smart uh, the Mary Tyler Moore show the Dick Van Dyke show all kinds of dope shows man um, Bewitched and all that stuff because uh, you know it was just like old school t television but late at night and I, I used to watch it when I was a kid and this is one of the shows and I just I just really liked it actually I don't even even, I can't remember maybe this wasn't on Nick at night maybe this was on a different channel I can't remember but I absolutely love the series um, when they brought in Batgirl I think it was for the last season I, I was like dude this is sick because it was like the whole like family at that time with uh, Batman Robin and Batgirl so I loved it but yeah this is from the movie I think it's cool because they actually kept his his uh, signature mustache because that's what Cesar Romero refused to shave his mustache for the role so they just put the makeup on top of it and I think that's awesome and I found her man this is Batgirl and she's in that year one one style costume and I just think that this is awesome. I love it. Doesn't get any more nerdy than this. And then the last thing I got are these guys right here. These are, I call them Zoom Zooms, but my wife and my daughter get pissed off at me because it's like spelled T-S-U-M, T-S-U-M. So according to them, it's it's to Zoom Zooms or so, I don't know. I don't know, man, but they're Zoom Zooms to me, so it. And this is part of the Spider-Man line. We've got Craven the Hunter, Hobgoblin, Doc Ock, 
along with the Iron Spider-Man. Now, the first set of these guys comes with like the original Green Goblin, the original Spider-Man, the Miles Morales Spider-Man, Rhino, Lizard, stuff like that. I have them somewhere. I also have Venom and all that stuff. I don't remember if there's Carnage or not. I'm not fully moved or fully unpacked, so when I get them, I'll put them somewhere up in the room and then maybe I'll do a room tour when I'm finally like all done setting up in here. But in the meantime, I got these guys and I think that they're super cute. And that takes care of all my nerd shit. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. If you liked it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, guys, have a good one. What's going on guys? It's Darren from Wavetesters.com and Nike gives their auto lacing sneaker the Hyper Adapt 1.0 in official release date, but with a caveat. Starting on November 28th, the self lacing sneaker from Nike that is definitely marked 425 bucks to me, I think is a great price. Hello? Hello? Hi, my name is Michael. Thank you, Michael.